Ladies and gentlemen, we're here with a 2v2 Spice Wars. It's going to be myself and Professor Pwn versus Goat and Gojira. So Pwn is going to be on Ekaz. Uh, we have Goat on the Baron and Gojira coming for revenge on the Smugglers. So it's uh, it's go time. You ready, man? You good? Yeah, let's, a, let's a go. <laughs> let's do it. All right. So uh, I've gone with Stilgar. So I'm able to see all of the nearby Spice Fields, which is very, very nice. Still need to scout them, obviously. Okay. So, what what a champion are you going to be going for? You're going to go for Whitmore, and I think we just go for like a like a big hedge push, right? Uh, well, I don't know the names of the people, so <laughs> <laughs> sounds good. So Whitmore is um, one of your two heroes, and he counts as a third champion essentially. So he's really good for. Yeah, um, that was the one I used. Yeah, I wonder if we share hedge or if it works like individually. This is like literally the first two v two game I've done, really. So you've done a lot of crafting. <laughs> yeah. We're going to figure it out. The possibilities are limitless. I know. I was like, we were talking, Pwn and I were talking before the match. We're like, if, I wonder, like, you know how Vernius has the um, information sharing, right? Like, what if Vernius shares with their uh, with their allies in a 2v2 match? Like, how busted would that be? Like, one person, you just get, like, the other person gets, like, a whole free tech tree. I think that would be, like, extremely degenerate if that's the case. But yeah. it looks like I have to, I can offer you some... Uh some treaties like once i unlock them oh interesting yeah so you can actually send your allied treaties you just obviously start allied but okay so those are still in play which i like i think that's good um okay so we take this village and what i like to do with oh, fremen and stilgar is find the first siege that gives knowledge what are you saying brother South i just want to quote south park so bad but <laughs> you want it i don't i don't want the internet to hate me for <laughs> don't do it where are you in the north? So Pwn's in the north. Um, they're obviously to the south and to the west. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be... The like, north remembers. The north does remember, dude. You'll always remember with your, your dreaded uh, knights. Okay, so that siege is a work in progress. Some nice territories here. Yeah, I know. I feel like the spawns next to me are pretty good as well, man. All right, so what do we get here? So let's get a Plascrete out of the gates. And for you, we're going to go ahead and start with this. Nice, quick, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, monument. Mm. Uh, sanctuary. That was the word I was looking for. Oh, that's, oh yeah, up top there. Yeah, you're going to get a quick sanctuary. That's really nice, man. Uh, I got the person that gives me the permanent gold. Which one is that? Is it the uh, plus 10 it gives you? Sanya Ikez. Got it, got Free it. Reach sanctuary on the map, gain 15 solari production, and minus 40% masterpiece construction. Ooh, that sounds pretty good, man. I think they're in danger unless they're really scheming, because I, I got the White Rift near me, which gives you the double craft workshop hedge. So we're like, and what's crazy about 2v2 is you just go for win cons, right? You don't, there's no politics. It's like our team versus theirs, all right? Just like push your win con and see if you can get it yeah. faster. I got some nukes. <laughs> you want to go nukes? Yeah, I guess <laughs> like one of us goes nukes, right? You want to be the Ekaz, uh, although Ekaz is so good at politics. So having that as a backup win con is so powerful. I never play politics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. You're just going to go just night party, huh? Uh-huh. I love it, dude. I love it. Hegenomy through <laughs> through violence. Yeah. Works well, man. That's this is the way. That's how I almost win all the time. I know. You all, you're you always like submarining in. Yeah, and then you just like get that fat hedge jump, you know, in all these games. Okay. I usually try and wait until somebody else is like right there, so they got to be the first, and then I just like pound out and then try and survive the... The backlash after we crushed the other guy. That's the way to do it, man. It really is. It's just submarining is so good. I mean, Fremen and I would say are one faction that doesn't submarine too much. They often just like push hedge so hard and expand so rapidly that, um, yeah, they oh can get gosh, away with it. What's another up? spice field already? Dude, are you going to oh, be the, <laughs> the, spice, oh. <laughs> the spice overlord over there? The spice. Just let it flow through you, man. You just have to accept it. Okay, so I'm gonna get the I'm gonna be going green tree, native customs, outpost logistics, valuable trinkets, and getting early hedge, and just pushing it. That's what I do with Fremen in regular games too. But um, today it should be pretty nice. Let's get that. White Rift is gonna be 76, so that's what we'll get next. Arrakis, Pone, did you know that Arrakis is our home? I I did not know that. That must be new. Yes, it is to the lore. Um, so with the Fremen, something that's really powerful is to, okay, so this one is being researched, is to get Stalwart Alliance early, and that lets you basically, you can spawn units out of uh, allied sieges, and you can also get reinforcements from them when you're liberating a village, so for early, like, military pressure, it's very, very strong. We're going to be trying that out here today, seeing if it works. Um, what other sieges are really good? So that one gives you unit recruit time, which is pretty cute. You see this one up here by me? Yeah, I can see them all, because I have Stilgar, so he reveals them all in the beginning. 
it's really powerful. Just I like, guess I can see them all too. Yeah, because and that's nice too. It gives us like vision. We know like which way they're expanding, among other things, right? We will help if we can. We'll help if we can. Okay, so Fremen Solidarity is done, so it's going to be Agent Recruit Speed, and Sieges will like us quicker. Um, I need to get one by this other player, so there's going to be one down here, which we'll have, and then one spying mission, uh, recruitment time, and uh, we do have... Ooh, mil uh, Militia getting max health isn't bad, and also gives us Plascrete, so we're going to grab that one. Oh, we're doing it. It's too late. Uh -oh. The doing it has been unleashed. Okay, so yeah, we have some goodies we need to grab near us, so let's have you go grab this this and this, and then we can take the warriors and continue expanding. Man, the white rift early, that's so strong, dude. That's so incredibly strong. That one, that one is, is pretty bonkers. Let me get a craft workshop. Oh my god, and then we have the crescent ridge. So we have like two spec regions right out of the gates. So something I've learned, Pwned, from watching um, some of these, and watching and playing in some of these tournaments is, um, like if you go early green jack and get like the hedge buildings very early, the craft workshops, it's, it's hedge that can't be removed, right? So it just like really, really helps you with your late game pushes, but obviously don't want to interfere with your tech, but... You're saying I should rush... No, I don't know. No, with ECAS, I have no idea. They're, they're like one of the factions I don't know how to play very well since the changes. Um, so yeah, just just free ball it, dude. Just, just free ball it over there, see what happens. All right. So here we have the this. Let's go ahead and get these... Oh, terms. they're raiding me. No way. Oh, I thought you said the other team was raiding us already. I was like, there's no freaking way they're over here coordinating already. Oh, <laughs> help me. Help me. I'm dying. Turn. So we're going to get so around. So you've abandoned me. I haven't. I could worm over to you pretty quickly. That's, that's what's cool. Fremen can definitely fly around. Flee for your lives. We are fleeing, dude. Okay, I've discovered another spice field. Oh, so let's get I was that. like, who paused the game? <laughs> okay, so water subsidies is really big. If that one goes off, um, Pwn. It gives the middle for free, so we need to like rush, get that, and get a missile turret on that. So I'm gonna make an attempt at that, yeah. Okay. Okay. So I might need some support. You don't have the most. Uh, <laughs> it, but it's all factions gain it. It's um, so it's not. It doesn't really. Okay. Oh. They put their taint on the landsrad thing. Just let them have that. It's not even that. It's not even that. So we're just gonna go all in on. No, water no, no just like yeah. I'm just gonna put like just put your free votes on water subsidies, and then let me go grab that. Because it's, it's pretty close, and I can probably jam over and get it pretty quick. So we'll do this. You go over there. Listening. It needs to happen, though. We can't let him have it. Okay. Right. Did it Wait, pass? did he just get a bunch of money? for put Oh, never mind. No, there's, there was no smuggler bounty, as far as I know. If he if he does it, though, like he can really just help his ally skyrocket with some money. Yeah, that's interesting. The smuggler bounty, right? That's Yeah, we're, we're discovering all the forbidden combos, potentially. I need to look at some of what the past supposed to be super. Okay, so this region is going to be the Well of Riches. Let's just get a little bit of, um, okay, one building of each type. So we'll get some Plasteel up here. Which we need to get manpower early for Fremen, so we're going to start on that. And then here we can get a maintenance center. Cost reduce these two regions as we expand. And uh, I'm going to gather the boys and head down to party here in a moment. Boys are back in town. <laughs> they sure are, man. They sure are. Okay, I got a friendly siege. That's the one you always want to rush. Plus four knowledge early on is great. Oh, yeah. Arrakis is our home. Arrakis is our home. <laughs> Hello. We will help if we can. Okay, so we got another ornithopter. Let's get you in there, and then you, buddy, can go scouting. So we need to gather our water before we head to the middle. Hopefully they don't beat me to it. That would be pretty unfortunate. That'd be that would be really embarrassing. I would I would just rage quit and just be over. Be like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm tapping out, boss. Uh... uh there was a bug. Uh, we had to restart. <laughs> yeah, I know. I love it. We saw that a couple times in the tournament, for sure. Somebody, Some people asked for restarts. Like, no. Cheaters! It's like, no. <laughs> you suffer. Okay, we had one building of each type, so we need to get the... Uh, I think I can make it to this middle with 39 water. It's pretty likely. Um, I do not have a supply drop at the moment. So now we're going to go ahead and get the native customs and all the stuff that lets us take over. Hmm. Am I going to be able to do this? It's going to be tight, but I think the water discipline of the Fremen will come into play here. All right, so in here we want to get a little knowledge is good. We have a Labithopter quest, so we need to do that. So let's do this, 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 this. Okay, so you see he's going to go party. Oh, man, if I get this Polar Sink, that's going to be so much early hedge. So, um, Pone, there's, like, another strategy with, like, rushing spec regions and hedge in general is if you're in, like... You can get your hero before them if you get to 10k, right? 
Um, and then you, if you're like engaging early, depends if you want to be early military, but I know you like to do more like Death Star, right? Like late game? Uh, yeah. Okay, so we won't worry too much about that. Let's get another harvester here. So do I just have to drive this Labithopter into special regions? Yeah, usually you just like shift click it around the map, like, and just okay. eventually it's gonna, it's gonna get where it's gonna go. Okay, I see the Harkonnens down there. Looking extra evil. What does Liet command? How many do I need? Eight? Oh, jeez. Say what? I said, how many do I need? Eight? Oh, jeez. You should have had you get the middle, because uh, you can actually benefit from the water extractor. The Fremen can't, so. Yeah, it's all good, though. So, yeah, Blast Creep for economy building, looking good, and the middle is ours. Can you grab one of your flyers and go scout the Goge and see what he's up to? God, you want me to micro these things? Yeah, dude, I need, <laughs> I need your help. Okay, so we're going to go get that spice, and then we're going to get this spice. We need to keep the Baron off this spice in the south. I would like to get at least three spice fields, because Mother Amalo gives you intel and also authority based on that stuff. So that's pretty important. Do a little pillaging here. Um, sieges. I don't know if you intended to chum, but it is a... Oh, uh, no, no, no chum for me. Okay. No chum for me, brother. Let's go closer to me or you. Say what? So is he closer to me or you? Uh, the Baron? Or Goji? Yep, Goji. Goji, uh, I'm not sure where he is. I think he's he's off in the Shadow Realm somewhere. Okay, 99 to take this. He's, he's to the east of you. I have the Baron south of me, so... It's going to be the classic uh, lore battle between these two, that's for sure. Do a little pillaging. Got to keep that economy. This is definitely going to be like military economy, so we're going to be very poor most of the game. We have that one, and um, this one gives us per special region, which is going to be very good, actually. All right. So I think we get this other spec region. The Baron, will he come for us? That is the question. Let's go ahead and throw down some more manpower buildings. To I'm going to be pretty damn poor this game. <laughs> okay, this is actually water production and Solari. That's not a terrible village, but I think getting the spec regions first is pretty, pretty powerful. Okay. So let's just get you on Chome for now. We're soon going to be getting outpost logistics, which lets us get another on Arrakis. Is Goji showing any early military aggression there? Is he kind of... Uh, I mean, he's just... He's doing a little bit of expanding stuff. Yeah, he's I hanging out. He's taking the spot right here next to me. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I might just run over here and fight him. Yeah, right, you should right just now. not let him cat solidify on there for sure. It's it's interesting. So they don't you don't spawn too close to your allies. So in some ways, it could become like two 1v1s, right? So... Um, could build the manpower building, but we're going to hang tight on that. Let's head over here. Uh, I'm going to be doing ambush Shawnee this game, using her, because she's very, very good at the ambushes. What do you need? And we should get another spec region here. And soon we get valuable trinkets, and then we switch out a green tree at that point. Let's sell a little bit more spice. Wow. Yeah, killed the unit. You got him? Nice. I just killed the unit. I'm just going to liberate the spot. <laughs> You're just going just gonna to liberate it? Yeah, that's pretty troll. That's, that's a good setback. Good job, man. Good catch. Well played. Nothing escapes the ever watchful eye of Professor Ponage, dude. Ugh, my, my lab doctor needs one more spot to go to. I know. It's hard to keep track of that. I'm like, I'm at, I'm at one, two, and I keep just... Yeah. I think think it's that back right corner there. Probably. There. So I don't think the Baron... I shift click. I should make it. Listen. Okay, the Baron is actually going fairly big military early, so I gotta watch out for that. Gotta put some respect on the Chonk's name. Classic Harkonnen trickery. I know, it really is. Another manpower building there. Do a little bit of pillaging. Labithopter is done, so I got it. Should be alright as long as the land strat doesn't pop up right now. <laughs> Why, hello oh! there. Hello there. <laughs> hello there. Okay, so the Baron is probably going to come pillage this. Might try and fight me here, so let's get some militia. What do you need? Don't know if I could take him oh. quite yet. <laughs> I always heavily invest in the two that are up here. So we do, Imperial we, missionaries and Imperial. We do have more votes in them. Um, I'm going to probably get foreign recruitment to try and fight off. Winning Imperial Missionaries, how many villages do you have right now? I have I have one, two, three, four. Okay, so I have only a four. Five, actually, because of the middle. I, I, I can't look. I can't even... It's oh, it's because it was the preamble. Look. It was like people who were setting him up. So Harkonnen, vote me for the... Um, vote me all in on the... Do we have more votes? We do. Vote me all, uh, all in on the uh, foreign recruitment. 
because I won't be affected by the Harkonnen tank since I'm Fremen, and um, that's what they want, so he can get more aggressive on me. Yeah. Vote the Fremen. I'm going to try. I'm going to put 10 points on the one. Nice, nice. We beat him. Damn. <laughs> if I wanted to try and sneak that one in there. You wanted to submarine that one in there, eh? Oh, yeah. Okay, got it. A little bit of pillaging here. My Lamathopter has died with Anna. It, it died, yeah. Well, I. You collected I the mission. My quest. Yeah. yeah, got it. Worth it. It is worth it, my friend. I need. What do I need? Plasters. So the Chonk is eyeing that field over there. He's looking a little bit shady. Um, we are about to get valuable trinkets, so we can start pushing hedge. And I have the militia health bonus from the siege, and my militia are like kind of the Walmart version of the Atreides ones. Okay, let's say in our territory, water, water. I need to get water here too. Okay, so the Baron's taking a spice field here, so I need to maybe try and stop that. I don't think I'm gonna get there in time, sadly. Some, some snipper riffles. Oh, a little bit of lag when I play. Should that. be able to drive him back. This thing's gonna be uh. Oh, it's gonna liberated take my spice. in just a second. There we go, Teehee, run away. <laughs> I'm going early aggro here on the Baron. I'm gonna see if it pays off. So he just caught this village. I'm gonna appear right as he's hopefully leaving. Uh, all right, so let's go survival training and uh, should have waited for some military. Damn, he just left. Okay. Damn, the timing of that was a little off. That would have been really good too. He's only got a couple demo militia, so we might be able to beat him actually. All right, so let's pillage this for now and then we can come back later. That will minimize the production there, and it looks like he has uh, got his demo boys. Okay, so at the end of the day, it's not worth it. I mean, it's not terrible. Um, I'm a little poor right now, old pwn dog. I don't think he can beat me with that army comp. I don't think so. Um, he could have some early upgrades, but we're going to go ahead and pull back to force him to extend like as far as possible here. And then we just chase. Chase, chase, and chase here, and get you here. Oh, he had some Cerberus. Okay, very sneaky. Well, regardless, we just kill all of his melee, his range units. Okay, so we've beaten down all of his range units. It's good. The pillage did get canceled. We, for some reason, have decent water, which is weird. We're going to need to get out of here soon, but we do kill all the demo militia. So let's call that a bit of an even trade and then flee the scene. Okay, I need to find some freaking some goodies here. I actually like the, the hyper-aggressiveness right now. Oh yeah, dude. I, I love playing. I love playing Fremen like really aggressive. It's super fun. I, no, I, I like just the, the game itself. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah. Okay, so let's get some warriors. That warrior fighting like an absolute chat against those Cerberus there. Let's get a militia. So it looks fine. We didn't really do too much damage, but we tried. So we'll get water and then we'll go grab this spice field over by Goji and see what we can do. I definitely need to keep raiding the Baron. All right, so we got another guy. Let's go on Arrakis, uh, Space and Guild, because we need just mass military at this point. Now we just go all in on military tech. Ah, oh, damn it, I accidentally mis misclicked there. Desert Trekkers is what we want. Okay. Ice Road Truckers. <laughs> the greatest show ever made. Life you just said the smartest thing I ever heard. <laughs> that was pretty big for a while, wasn't it? Yeah, I remember it being, being kind of popular. Um, so we just keep a missile turret there. He goes here and then here. So we can get our third spice harvester. Let's go ahead and gear these up and gear these up. Are you in the goge having like a Mortal Kombat? Any sort of standoffs or anything? Nope, not since I ruined his day. Oh, he's going mid. He's going mid. Can you intercept him if he tries? Uh, yeah. I got a missile turret there. Just don't, don't let him take that for free. Uh, I need to get some more militia there. That reminds me. Let's get some infiltrators. We got 139. There's another spec region up there, which I can probably take. Yeah, it's 115, so we're going to go take that because it's kind of safe. Don't think he would be able to take these. Yeah, I mean, he's just taking a region next to it, so don't. it's not like urgent. I thought he was attacking it, so don't, don't stress it too much. We're going to go grab that and then head north and do it. Okay, a little bit of hedge being gathered already, but I'm kind of poor at this point. So we need to probably pillage to maintain our eco and start grabbing some of these goodies around the map. Okay, team, let's just pillage all these bases. That should give us a decent little surplus of money. 
Um, Harkonnens might come for this. This is a Plascrete special region, so I think we just take advantage of that. It's great. All right. Uh, so the middle is being raided. Yeah, Goji's at the middle. I don't know. My militia might hold, but you should definitely not let them get that if you can avoid it. So just kind of passively work your way down there, I would say. I mean, the militia are holding well. Yeah, I have the militia upgrade, so they're jacked. Unfortunately, um, he might be able to get through. We'll see. Yeah, he's got them snipers. Yeah. The missile turret, though, is doing pretty good. Yeah, you could probably take him. He lost, like, three or four units on that, so. Uh, all right. So let's go get got that. got a long run. Yeah. If you can't get there, don't stress it. It's just be a, a bit of a shame if they get it. Not the end of the world, because I got it for free, so they're going to have to pay for it. Like, I didn't, so. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, he's, I... he's diving the, the missile turret. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, the missile turret was, if you kill all the militia, that becomes irrelevant. Okay. Uh, oh, he's uh, he's still ta getting shot by it. Yeah, it's because he's, he's trying to kill the missile turret instead of, he misclicked. He was trying to, he should have pulled uh, okay, the village. Yeah, it was a misclick, yeah. Ha-ha! Here to ruin your day! <laughs> Chase him away, dude. And after that, just take that territory from him, too. That would be nice. Kill him. Yes, kill him. Uh, I hunt... Oh, I was about to say I was going to hunt them like the animals they are, but my character said it for me. <laughs> I can't liberate... That, okay, that doesn't sound like something Ekaz would say. You know? Hunt them down like the animal. It's the marksman. Oh, okay. I was like, man, because Ekaz is all about, like, you know, environmentalism and... <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Seems that's like more of a Harkonnen thing, you know? That's what the Chonk would say. <laughs> okay, so recruitment, and then we get Stalwart Alliance. And then once we get Stalwart Alliance, we need to. Do we have a siege down here? We do. So we raid the back Harkonnen spice fields, and um, we use the worm call to troll. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing the plans within plans now. Okay, so this is a really good spot, by the way. Really, really good. Okay, so. I have 89 votes, you have 165. They have us beat to votes. Nothing here is worth voting on. Private mandate is good, but we I think we just, I'm saving my votes, but you just kind of throw your free ones wherever yeah, you want. I'm just gonna throw my free ones on the research one. Sounds good, man. I dig it. Can you dig it? Oh, it's for everybody though. Yeah, but you, you could you could even vote against it or whatever. If you, ooh, this is a good region, yeah. Water is Solari, it's really nice. Okay. So how are we looking down here? Yeah, looks good. We got the craft workshop. Plus nine. I'm almost at 10k hedge now. That's pretty nasty. Yeah, that's pretty disgusting. And then once I get that and I get once I get Shawnee, if I get her out early, I'm gonna be able to bully the hell out of those guys. Um alright. Can't no be seen. Bully. Listen to the yeah, Gotham's reckoning. <laughs> Let's take the expansion up here. Get some free militia in there just so nothing bad happens. Grab the free military tech and get uh, you and you. All right. Okay, I can get a hero. I just need to get um, parallel um, parallel training, which I'm gonna rush. What do you need? We're here. The spec region just, rushing. I'm just happy to be stealing all of Goji's uh, yeah, spice. Yeah, you, you, you've been having a good old time versus the Goji there. Your rapid, the rapid pwned response has been formidable. Okay, do we have any like freebies laying around? We do. Uh, we can't reveal the siege. We have the free Ornithopter there. Is the Baron choming? He bought, I think, like one share maybe. So he's not really choming too hard. I bought one share too. Yeah, yeah. So it looks like there's not like a big threat of chom or anything like that. What other sieges do I need here? Yeah, this one is... Oh, sweet. So I got 10% uh, military unit health now. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. And um, for you, let's go ahead and get a maintenance center to cost reduce up here. And do we have manpower? Not quite. Okay. We're here. Yes. It's just time. The Baron. So once Solward Alliance is up, that's when we can start our raiding. We are listening. Another liberation success. Attaboy, dude. You're just hard carrying us here. I, would, I wonder if I can refuel my water at your spot. You probably can. I would, oh, when be, you liberate, I would be shocked if you couldn't. Is, does everybody get all their water back when you liberate? Uh, when you pillage or like, yeah, like finish I did, with that. I just liberated you and it just gave me all my... Gave you a little H2O. ...more stuff. So now I don't get to know. You'll never know, dude. The world may never know. Yeah, it's uh, one of those those un those lost mysteries. Alright, friendly siege here. Definitely need to get the manpower building quickly. That's what I... I like to get military in the main base. Just go full aggro military. I see the Harkonnen's army. It's got a lot of Cerberus. He's using a lot of Cerberus. I don't know, maybe there's some forbidden tech. I don't know about them. 
Get a couple of these guys. I always found them to be weak. No, they're good. Yeah, they're really good. The guy who won the tournament with the Baron the other day, he was like spamming them. Like apparently there's some crazy synergy with them in the uh, them and the what's it called the, uh, the, the the big scary executioner guys because the executioners have like a death trigger thing, and the Cerberus are just dying like flies, so it works pretty well. <laughs> Thought they killed units when they got to low health. Uh, so uh, or no, know. that's Sardaukar. Yeah, that's Sardaukar. No, the executioners when something dies near them, they get like a benefit. A Sardaukar. Yes, exactly. Okay, so let's go take this down. Need to get a little bit of money to pay for, um, to get Shawnee out. Maintenance center should be online here. And then here we got our H2O. Do we already have a spice silo here? Yes, we do. All right, so we can just get a manpower building, which is gonna further tank our economy until we switch out of um, the tech here. What does Liet command? Okay, we're gonna pillage this so the Harkonnens can't settle on our borders and start trying to assassinate me. And, hmm, I think I'm going to go with the stealth army. What does Liet command? I don't know how good they'll be against that, his army comp, though. Okay, so we got the second one. So damage reduction at close range. We want to get stealth, and we want to get um, the chasing stance. Yeah, it's really good, and we'll decide on the other ones later. How's everything looking for you, all's calm? Everything's looking money. No drama? That's great. That's great, my friend. Uh, middle looks safe. Goji hasn't re-emerged, has he, since the beatings you've instilled on him? No, I think he's crying still. Yeah, he's crying somewhere. Okay, fair play. Uh, scavenger teams is pretty good. It's good money. If we get a big fight versus the Cerberus, it's going to be mega strong. Pillage that, and then we just need parallel training, and we're good to go. Economy is sped up right now, isn't it? Oh, but I need to get my... Yeah, we got to take advantage of that. So let's get Freedom Fighters, Jump Integration. Missed that. That's unfortunate. Okay, we'll attack up here. We can actually go pillage this spec region. Although I might want to get that sooner than later, Moondu Valley. Although, just denying the Harks a uh, pillage is always good. The desert will surprise you, Pwn. I have been surprised once or twice. Yeah, have you? Yeah, I was like, whoa! <laughs> whoa! You made the hand kill sound. Oh, dude, I'm going to do the most haggard ambush on the back of his base now. Oh, this is going to be so good. I hope you're ready for the dreaded flight of the worm. Okay, so we got water, and um, we can get some spec regions now. Probably want to start getting our recycling plant. Um, up here, it is cost reduced, so we can just get it here. Actually, it's going to be fine. It's for the Fremen Mothership. Man, I'm so freaking poor, dude. This whole game, I've just been like, just the ultimate beggar. This Fremen playstyle is good for that, though. I mean, not good, but it's it makes sense. Because you're just so early on in the military. Fremen love being poor. Yeah, yeah, you know, there's a little martyrdom there, I suppose. They thrive on it. Okay, why are you guys not exploring? There's literally so much to explore. Has the whole map already been explored? I guess it's because we both yeah, have... We, we, yeah, we got... You get it done twice as fast, I mean. Yeah, 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 that's true. Okay, parallel training is not done. So we're going to be missing Shani, but um, you're going to see how Stalwart Alliance works here. Oh, I see the Baron. Where's he going? Okay, let's see if we can do an ambush on him here. Yes. Oh, this is going to be beautiful if it works. Get him. Oh, dude, Pwn, look in the south right now at that village. I might get wrecked here, actually. He's got a lot of executioners. Oh, the worm's taking so long to get there. I don't have the upgrade yet. Oh, I see it. And he can see it coming, too. This is so bad. <laughs> oh, no. Do, 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 do. At least we stopped the pillage, you know. Okay, we're just going to go for it and get the executioners on the back. So let's get them, them, them. Diving here. Pull back. And just run. Yeah, okay, good. So we got those guys doing it. We're luring away three of his big guys, actually. Which is pretty big. So let's start hitting him and get you coming over to help. Okay, Mike, are you guys back? Yes, get them all. Okay, now it's time for the dreaded Shai Halud RNG. Shai. Oh, Shai Halud ate both our armies. Okay, that's fair, Shai Halud. <laughs> that's fair. Uh, Diplomatic Congress? Does that even do anything in 2v2? Like, do we have to, like, break it with them? Uh, I don't know. How many I votes? Like, I mean, or they would have to break it with How us, many votes but... do you have right now, by the way? 
I got 169, uh, you 229. You want to you want to force a rebellion on them? No. Actually, labor rights is going to be really bad for me. I like you I like getting 50% solar. Yeah, get that for yourself. I'm just opposing labor rights cuz it would just bankrupt me. So I'm going to oppose that with like literally most of my votes. I just put everything into it. <laughs> As I slowly begin to pump out expensive, more expensive units with better stats. Okay, I just uh, I just took down the Harkonnen pretty good. He's gonna lose all of his units, all of his military here. Yeah, he's running out of supplies. The Harkonnens don't have good water discipline, I say. Oh, that was brutal. Yeah, we got him good there, bud. We got him good. Got him nice and good, like. Now I can go raid their back base too. Um, we're gonna rally. Oh, dude, I can rally units out of the siege too. That's so awesome. Oh, Ready, I love that. Ready. Turns name is Sally. How oh, oh, oh. dare you, dude? You doing schoolyard bullying against me? That's uh, my specialty. <laughs> <laughs> dude, look at the back base. Adding it right now. Oh, I'm gonna have units reinforcing from the siege, and uh, when I start to liberate it, it's gonna. Um, he's got four heavies in there though, which is actually kind of dicey. Yeah, it's worth though. Arrakis is our home. All right, so we got the reinforcements coming out. Let's get a couple of infiltrators. And we continue our, our path of aggression. We're basically just replaying the movies down here. <laughs> it's the Baron and the Harkonnens and a blood feud, you know? So check this out, Pwn. When I start to liberate this, it's going to spawn an army out of that siege right there. See that? Uh, so those units that look a little different than mine on the banner, those are, um, those are like siege units. They're not mine. It's really, really nice. Just free units. Yeah, it's pretty great. Um, Freebies! It is a freebie. All right, let's get a Spice Harvester down here. And now we just kill the buildings, and we cackle and reinforce down there. Gonna go pillage this territory just to make sure Goji doesn't think about trying to take it. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> <laughs> just the evil laughter. I love it. I did get the manpower building, so my manpower is pretty insane. Let's go ahead and have like some ornithopters just kind of sit in his territories and we can see where, what he's doing. If I can just keep pounding the Baron and get like, get he loses both of his spice fields, it's going to be a very bad time. Okay. And um, let's get a couple infiltrators. They're really good for chasing range units now. Okay. So, we have the passive hedge, but I'm a little bit too broke to do much with it, sadly. I might need a loan from you at some point. Are you rich? Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, no. You are. I just looked. You have you have a lot. I saw. Don't. don't no. Stop. Look how much work I'm doing for you here. No. <laughs> Come on, dog. <laughs> don't leave me hanging. I, like, if I can get the barons, like, and get him on one spice field, he's just going to be a pit lord, basically. Um, the, okay. the craft workshop's the thing that makes hedge enemy, right? Yeah, it makes crazy. passive hedge. Can you send me like a thousand gold? No. Come on, dog. Okay. Oh, we need to get these agreements, by the way. Trade agreements and stuff. Yeah, what are we doing? We, we, we just now remembered that. Send me all the agreements. We should have them all. Like the political and everything. There's no reason not to, right? Okay. Send them to me. Let the Nurglings feast. I'm being raided. By Goji? No. By the AI. You literally are, are fueling the war machine. I just want you to know that. Okay, You're so lucky I just raided something and got free money. <laughs> I'm just... So this is kind of a strategy in 2v2, right? Like, one person just goes full murder hobo, and the other one, like, funds the war. I mean, I could fund it by pillaging, but this is way more efficient to have you just send me money. So let's start pillaging. I have 269. Once we get parallel training, we can get the um, the eco stuff. Are my harvesters? Yeah, I need to get the chome branch somewhere. Yeah, Fremen early armies are very terrifying. They are nuts. Okay, so we got a little bit of that. A little spice we could buy. Let's do some pillaging. Now it's time to get the Baron's other spice field, which should be doable. He's popping out. His army's got a couple executioners in it. So with Fremen, I've kind of found that Fidekin, like, you just get warriors. Warriors, honestly, do almost just as good in my experience. Don't think Shai Hulud will get us here. 
Okay. So we're able to sneak away. Let's go pillage the territories near him to take that option away from him. Um, all's calm, all's calm. We have the command post, which is going to massively help our economy. Get them, Anakin. Get them. No mercy. Okay, so the Baron lost the spice field. I can spawn units there if I see him trying something. Uh, I'm going to miss my spice tax if I don't collect more. Oh, I'm at negative 100 right now, money-wise. <laughs> uh, but it's working. You know, we're getting a lot of lot of damage in here. We're, we're doing it, Pwn. Okay, so the Baron is getting squeezed. How's Goji looking over there? I I think I squeezed him earlier. by like, killing, like, two of his armies and... Yeah, you've gotten him pretty good, huh? D stop stopping him from getting stuff. I think he's having a, a straight up bad time. Oh man, Shawnee just spawned in enemy territory. That's bad. Because I had the rally point on the wrong spot. <laughs> um, the Harp's got a little bit of an army back. Let's flee. He uses combat drugs. Yeah, that's time to just peace out from there. If he chases us, we can uh, we can worm call him. Worm call, drop supplies. Yeah, he's fine. Oh my god, I hope Shawnee makes it back. That's so obnoxious. Come on. Conan's bought a little bit more chome, but not Yeah, they're pretty poor. I don't see them being able to get a lot of chome action going. Okay, they're really going to come out here? That's very ballsy of them. Although I'm really low in supplies, they need to get back. Yeah, can't be a fool. Let's wait till we get Shawnee. Fleet, you fool. Fleet, you fools. So we can do some fat ambushes. We're going to get like a ton of stealth units and just take advantage of her uh, buff here, the uh, ambush. Undetected stealth units at long range get power. Yeah, it's all mostly your, your grenade guys. But... Um, do we want to incite rebellions? How much do you have? You have 173. They have his beat dead to rights on boats, so probably not going to win anything here. Which is all good. I mean, can you send me a little bit of money? Oh my gosh. It's worth it. <laughs> send me 500. <laughs> I need a loan. <laughs> I still need to send you other things. Uh, get phone, you gotta be my loan shark, dude, and break my knees if I don't pay you back. <laughs> Where's my money, man? <laughs> All right, let's switch the rally point, by the way, so we're not like freaking going off into the shadows. Yeah, we could bully the hell out of this Harkonnen army, I think. Phone, I need the money. <laughs> Please. And a trade agreement. And a trade agreement too. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. What else can you give me? Nothing. Come on, I'm, I'm not researching right now because I'm going so hard on military on these guys. Is there a fast way to put how much money, or do I literally just gotta tap this thing? I think you gotta do the slider. There's like a slider. Oh my gosh. You've just you've just been enlightened, haven't you? Um. You okay. Saved, you just saved me five minutes. <laughs> ah, boy, I'm rich again. If I can just like stabilize my eco amongst all this, they're in big trouble. Dude, my army's fat. It's already 50 like something supply. Oh, the Baron is so dead, dude. <laughs> He's X gonna give it to him pretty bad. Um, so I'm gonna do a really cool strategy here. I'm gonna do like a, well first let's take this back region. Uh, base development up here. Yeah, we have the ceremonial caves. No, that's the Shahilu Temple. Oops, wrong one. Uh, we have five water here. Could get the passive hedge, but I don't think we need it right now. Okay. Liet. Liet. I swear, once I get this economy online, I'm going to just have like five hedge buildings going. Oh, and I forgot that I built this earlier. Yeah, so we need to trade Plascrete for uh, ship parts. Okay, there's a lot going on. You know, stakes were made. The Baron is about to just get friggin' squeezed, dude. Uh... Okay, so that would be a craft workshop. Oh, let's be greedy. It's okay, Pwn can bail us out, dude. He's like the government. We're like a big bank. He's just gonna <laughs> bail us out if we mess up. So we get a maintenance center here first. All the money. Okay. Dude, look how fat my army is, bro. So we're gonna send the warriors in first, okay? And then everybody else is going to lie in ambush here, which is going to be the coolest thing ever. Uh, we can send the Landsgrad guards too. And then we, we have the Infiltrator and these guys in Shawnee in ambush here. 
oh, this is going to be so cool. And then we'll catch him while he's like trying to run up and stop it. I mean, with you beating him down, if Goji goes to help, he's going to be in big trouble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He has not, like, he's, exp looks like he kind of ex had to expand south. Oh, dude, yeah. there's about to be a fat ambush battle here. I hope you're ready for the glory. Okay, they can't see this force. So that's good. We've taken that. Oh, Pone, are you watching? Uh, Ambush! <laughs> oh, we need to get this territory so we can freaking not lose supplies. The ninjas! Okay. Okay, we got the ambush on him. We're all up behind him. Go, go, go. Get the range units. <laughs> it's just like in the movies. Fremen ambush. Although I don't know, I, I kind of ran out of supplies a little bit, so I was a little dodgy. The movies. Okay, close enough. Yeah, it's, it's going somewhat close to the movies. Although he does have the Landsrad guard, so they're fighting pretty well. All right, let's get warriors. Uh, Shawnee is fighting. Okay, he's trying to snipe my character, which is fine. We just scurry away. Oh no, I misclicked. Oh no, my character died. Oh, the evil Harkonnens have prevailed in that fight. Yeah, the Landsrad guard helped him a lot. Plus, I ran out of water on my ambushers. Big mistakes. Let's see if they can capitalize on it, though, is the question. Okay, so here... What does this region do? It gives us knowledge? Yeah, let's do that. We did kill all his militia there, too, so he's going to have to spend quite a bit of manpower to get that back. We'll mix in some Fidekin now. The ambush had so much potential. It looked so cool, dude. It looks so cool. Okay, so Sorry, scavenger teams. Sorry, I know how much you wanted that. I wanted it to work really bad, and it almost did, but my warriors all ran out of supply on the base here, so they were all like dying just passively. So that screwed us up nice and good, but Shawnee will be back. Don't you worry, she's going to take a while. Uh, Siege, we can build a barracks here too. Shawnee's going to be how much to get back? A thousand? Yeah. Okay, so we need to go pillaging now to make this economy back. Get some skirmishers, because we can start doing that. There'll be stealth too. Shawnee will be back in a while, and then we'll attack the Harkonnens again. They're still only on two spice fields. It's good. He's doing a great job defending those. Guy's doing great. Those lands chat guards that were not fun to fight. Alright, so let's grab this, uh, grab that, grab that, and we can go ahead and grab that free military check there. Crew training program will probably stay up to help stabilize our economy at least. They don't belong here. How is the chum situation looking? Yeah, Baron's chumming pretty good under pressure. He's doing a great job. He's keeping it up now. Oh, yeah. He is. That, that's going to be their win con. So I got to just keep keep him under pressure. I love how the audio, like when they're in a storm, it like actually muffles the mic. I think that's a really cool touch. Full nights at your service. I need to upgrade. You need to do some upgrades, yeah. Okay, any other spec regions I can get? I could get that one. It's all the way over there. It's quite a bit, but I could take the freebies here. Granted, I'm so freaking poor at the moment. All right, so let's get you, and we'll get like, I think just two Fidekin in the army is going to be fine. So we'll do them... Hit by the attack and then damage reduction, I think. Yeah, that's going to be really good against that Harkonnen style army. Ooh, got to respect assassinations too, right? That could totally happen. So if we have a military building here, do we need manpower anymore? Not super hard. So let's go ahead and get spying logistics, sand diplomats, and siege network. No, we need to get the worm ride. That's right. That's like the most important thing. Yeah. The Worm Ride will let our armies do just way, way crazy damage. Okay, pillage that. We have very little water. Fortunately here, it's probably not worth getting water. Throw down a missile turret. Pillage that. This region is kind of what I have my eyes on here. Shawnee will be back soon. Take that authority and we can go grab this. Okay, so got full military attack in the main base now. Uh, nothing here is really that important. Yeah. yeah, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kind of bank my votes for other things because I don't get free votes. So military, and we get the free authority here. Is there any other fuel cells around here? The Baron just took his other spice field back, so that one's really easy for us to get because we can just ambush spawn it. 
So I think we're going to go liberate that spice field again. Just keep the Baron in the pits. So here we could, and then do like a worm call. Maybe. Hmm, interesting. Get a couple of these, and I guess we don't need to wait for Shawnee. We can even just attack. Administrative Hall is good. Oh, man, that's going to put us pretty low. We do this, and then we get all our harvesters pimped out now, so we can do that. Yeah, we're back in the green. Pona making money. Been a long time. I like the degenerate person who just never moves out, you know? Just, just like, just leeching. Here it comes. We trust you, Liet. Okay, baby. Liet will avoid the Let's go. He does have an airfield and a pretty respectable army. Uh, I'm going to probably lose this army, so let's just push it up and, and go for a deep raid here. We can even rally units over here when the time comes. Yeah, the Harks have not gotten aggressive yet. Plasteel. I need to get that territory. What's Gojo up to, the smugglers? Is he just kind of hiding from you, that back there? Uh, I guess so. I'm going to go grab this and let the, uh, let the Baron... Build that village up a little bit more. We'll water is so low. I need to just get like a high water region. Yeah, one does have three. I need more fuel cells. So I wish I could give you some. This man. base will be mine. Oh, we got some renegades coming. Ship parts are at 19. Baron is moving out slowly. Okay, we're coming to grab this. Yeah, and like 2v1 in this would be very strong too. You know, like doing timing pushes, like 2v1 on one person. Right. That seems like that'd be pretty brutal because they would just straight up wouldn't be prepared most of the time. Okay, let's grab that. Um, still need to sell a little bit more to stay in the green. We got maintenance centers. I think I can really wreck Goji Spice here. <laughs> yeah, do it. I mean, dude, we need every advantage we can get. I think I'll eventually beat the Harkonnens. It's going to take a while because he's pretty good, but I think I'll get him eventually. Yay, heroes. You got your hero now? Sweet. Wilmore. Whitmore? Yeah, he's really good. Wilbur? His new name is Wilbur, dude. Let's get a military base there. Wilbur Bud. Uh, all right, let's choose that. Get the free unit. We got a little bit of free military tech over there as well. The Baron is being a chonk. Is there any spice fields that aren't being worked? Oh, there is a neutral one over there I could actually waddle to. All right, so we're going to come down this way, and this region is Plaskri, but we'll just get some H2O there for starters. Some heavy militia. So we're almost at 20k hedge on my Fremen. Um, and I'm, I'm going to, um, as long as I can fight off the Harks, we can probably win on hedge. Take the free money. I should have taken the, the big burst, but that's fine. Harks just got to 10% 10, 10 hedge, so they're not going too bananas on that. Okay, Shawnee's back, so I can do my Haggard ambushes again. And when Worm Riding finishes, he won't be able to see my Worms. Right now, he can, unfortunately. Yeah, we have another Spice Field over here we can work, but I'm just like too dirt poor to take it, so we're going to grab that. Are you just battling Goge on the borders there? Not yet. I just realized, I, since I shot over my command point, that gives me minus 50% military power. Oh, yeah, yeah. That'll, that'll sneak up on you sometimes. So we get that, and then we can go ahead and get Desert Wisdom, now that we have a lot of wind traps and stuff. Okay, and we get another Spice Harvester, send it over here. The Baron must pay. We gotta keep the attrition on him, see if he can keep up. Ooh, another spec region here? Yeah, the Well of Riches. Wow. Holy shit. We got, like, all these special regions just waiting to be taken, man. I'm just plopping down the income buildings on all of them. Or excuse me, the hedge the hedgecraft workshops. What is it I may do? Okay, let's go pillage this for a little bit of money, get the army back, and I then feel we... like Goji's probably trying to uh Assassinate. Assassinate. So get get um get the stealth detection. That's a really good point uh, call out there. Yeah. I'm gonna... I I uh I got one. Okay, I'm gonna start doing that too. Thank you. I wasn't I wasn't even thinking about him assassinating. Like the fact that he's been so quiet <laughs> It's sus. Yeah, it's like eerie. Yeah. The old sneaky goge. Oh, that was the wrong building. Ugh. So can we take the Baron on his home turf is the question. He's going to run for sure. 
Okay, so we got a little bit of money there. Not bad. And then this village is ours. As soon as my building completes, I am going to attack him. I just need my military power to not be cut in half. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's pretty important, for sure. Glad I noticed that before I began my attack. Go take down. Oh, he, no he noticed. He's putting up a missile turret. <laughs> Clever girl. Okay, so Clever here girl. we're going to get self detection in case they try and use that as an assassination point. The fourth spice harvester, and there's a fifth one up there too we could even get. Let's pillage that. So the Baron's going to have to attack me at some point. Like, I'm giving him the advantage attacking his territories, right? But if he attacks me, I should be able to take him down pretty hard. If he's in my lands. Arrakis belongs to the Fremen. Oh, he even said it right as I said it. That's kind of cool. In sync. Uh, and here, how are we doing on manpower? Clearly, we're doing pretty good, so we'll just build that out. Let me go get this renegade base, and we can do Shawnee's ambush. So that'll give the little ambush. Pull them away. And we'll start the attack. All right. Let's pull back, kite them a little bit. Tag some of these range units, tag some of the range units. It's a little laggy, so kind of hard to micro there, but it is what it is. So it'll give us a lot of shit parts. This is going to give us a lot. Robin is watching us, the Glossu. Bautista. He watches. <laughs> he watches in the night. He does, man. Whoa. Okay, so we took that down pretty well. Let's do a supply drop so we don't take any free free damage there. Probably should get some on counter intel here, so we're gonna switch you and you, and we're gonna get you guys on counter intelligence in case the Baron's trying to do cells on us. That would be my biggest weakness for sure. Um, so here we can get rid of a Plascrete production. We don't really need much Plascrete as Fremen. We're going to do this. And then here we need to get, um, probably can cut a knowledge building. It's fine. And then we can go ahead and get a stealth detection building to make sure we don't get um, cheesed by the Baron. All right. 50 ship parts. Nice. Nice. That's going to be really helpful for defending. OK, I have 200 votes for Landsrad. Um, Oh, minus 20 military power. Can you we vote the Baron on that? Oh, he's, sure. Let's see. So I have 304. No, I have 200. You have 304. So we have 504 in total. Oh, wait. How many votes do you have? You got the 250. Oh, it's Lions Red Sock. Okay. They can beat us, actually. Hmm. Harkonnens yeah, want... They, they oh, have to put it all into they it. They want the assassins. They're trying to assassinate me. Okay, that's what it is. So put this on the Baron, then. The, uh, the gear eggs. And then that should help me bully him here in a minute. Yeah, I need to get ready for assassination attempts. So I'm going to start um, fine-tuning all the bases. You just get stealth detection and missile turrets, and then they can't really do much in terms of assassinating. And I believe I have it that here. I'm going to put a couple. I'm going to put... Oh, I got I got a couple free ones. Putting 30 free votes into the... Uh, oh, yeah, into the chome one. <laughs> did you block it? I did. Uh, you lost out on the military part thing, though. They, they dumped it. They got it on me. Okay, so I'm just going to have to play defensively then, because it's a pretty big setback. Okay, let's butcher this village. The Harkonnens could attack now, so we need to be... need to go down here and be ready. I think I can maybe take them. We'll do a worm call. Yeah, they're going to try. So we'll do a worm call here in case they try and cross the desert. That'll buy us some time. Almost there on ship parts, but the Harks won't be able to cross easily. Okay, turret, and um, now we just need to get a turret here. Man, a passive hedge is a lot. Getting plus 50 passive every day. Do you see any other special regions that haven't been taken on the map? Uh, not the moment. Okay, so we need to go to these regions, so to the sieges. And let's go ahead and do the research center down here. There's no sense in hiding my hedge from them since it's a team game, so I'm just going to do it. Do it. If the Harks try, I'm going to ambush them, because I still I get a huge damage buff from Shai Halud and from uh, Ide Akarab. How the hell you say that? All clear. Received. Okay, so let's see what they're going to do. We need to be ready to Shai Halud around. Let's see what our Shai Halud options look like. Okay, we can go pretty good from here. Okay, so we're going to pile in nice and tight. See where they're going to go. And basically, we just Shai Halud him here, right? Wherever he decides to attack, we just do this, and then we just pop out on the worm. So that gives us like a huge damage boost, right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna own him here pretty good. I could be wrong though, I was long, wrong last time. We'll send 
Okay. Oh, the damage. The damage. Okay. I have no idea how this is going. I think it's going well. Just keep these guys back. Shawnee is okay. Yeah, he's getting the biz pretty good. And just move these guys away. If we can kill Glossy Robin here, that's going to be pretty good. Okay, tag the range units. Shy Halud's here. Definitely don't want to get our character eaten, so we're going to run back to the siege. Okay, a bunch of things just got eaten. Snipe his character. Should be pretty easy. All the Robin's somewhat tanky, so maybe we don't want to do that. Monument is coming. The monument? Okay, good. And then I begin my assault. Actually, I think I can beat them up before I get them. Okay, so I just wiped the Harkonnen army. They're including their hero, so he's going to die now. He's going to try and run, which he might as well try and lure me into the desert. Uh, oh my god, they forced the truce. Support. They can do that in team games? Oh my god, I just got to say. Shawnee just got eaten by a worm. No, she didn't. Okay, she's still here. Ended it. I was like, what the hell? I'm not attacking. <laughs> okay, so the hearts got bullied back. Come on. Come on, get Robin. He only had two two dudes in that. Look, Bautista's running. <laughs> it's just like the movie when he runs from the siege. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's get you on Space and Guild. And we wiped the Harkonnen army completely. Okay. The worm ate like 10 of my units, but it was it was okay. We were oh. able to endure. He He's hiding in his base like a rat. <laughs> 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 Look at this up here. Just his chatty Kaz army. Shai Halud got a lot of my stuff. Evil. The evil worm. Oh, I f apparently I failed to pay my tax. Same here. Whoops. It's okay. They don't deserve it. I do lose some authority there, though. It's fine. We're going to be fine. Your hegemony is showing, sir. I know. I know it is. Get two Fidekin. I think two is enough. Um, yeah, and we go, I think we spawn down there and hit the ba the Baron's back door. We can just take this, because it's like, I don't want to be banking hedge. Sieges, yeah, our water kind of sucks. We can build more, let's build a barracks I in here. I killed an enemy assassin. <laughs> you did? Yeah, I just got an achievement for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to find out. I, that means that I, I might be getting assassinated right now. You could be. Do you have the build the self detection building in the your border yeah, villages I, ASAP? I, I okay. The one where on two Oha is what it's called. You don't have it there, so. Okay, so hedge, hedge. That's it. That's, that's it's got like long range, right? Um, yeah, it's it's like the range of a missile turret, give or take. So it's not like insanely long, but yeah. Oh, okay. Did you see where the assassin was going? No, I my my riflemen also have the armory upgrade that lets me see stealth units. Got it. I, I'm wondering if he ran it up at my guys, and that's how it died. Yeah, yeah. The the Harkonnen player killed a couple of my guys with uh, with assassins in that last fight. What does Liet command? My monument. I'm too weak. How do I? Man, I guess I ran out of Plascrete on my wild expansions. It's like we don't need Plascrete. Let's get rid of all our Plascrete buildings. And then I'm like, I need it. I'm too weak. Uh, scavenger teams is pretty good for keeping us afloat. We have enough thumpers to last. Um, I have literally no plasteel right now, so probably going to want to build some back. Yeah. We had a plasteel special region, too, down here. It's high water. I think we're okay on manpower, so let's just get the plasteel going there so we can at least have some. Take this. We can get a maintenance Enjoy center here. Liberated territory, Goji. <laughs> How's the Goji doing? <laughs> uh, not so good. <laughs> are you are you bullying him on his borders? I think so. Okay. I don't think I had that Fidekin in that last fight. I'm kind of making some good money now, man. We're not we're not poor, which is cool. Are you going to take I'm that spice field next to your base, or should I send a harvester over there? I'm doing it right now. Okay. I was going to send one of my my donkeys over there to to grab it. I'll kill your donkey. How dare you, dude? That would be the honorable thing to do. Oh, I'm sending you a research agreement, by the way. Like, why the hell not? We should be doing all that. I thought you sent it earlier, but... Uh, I think I only sent the trade... The only one I had available was, like, the trade one. How freaking dare you, dude. Yeah, so, like, getting early influence and rushing that, there's a lot of, like, cool nuances we're learning of the, um... Okay. 
It's time for a fat ambush on the chunk. A little bit of lag, the classic. We'll head down here with our army. Sand Brotherhood will give us a fair amount of eco. Sieges. Yeah, we can start trading with you. All factions suffer military development. Okay, I don't know if we care about that. Uh, so I have 109, you have 163. We can't really win either of these, but yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna put my points towards the Solari one. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good, my dude. Not even paying taxes, losing out. Let's uh, let's try and pay our taxes to get the imperial approval back. Just an absolute potato play on my part, but we're still at plus seven, so it's fine. We're gonna get we're gonna get there. With the passive probably. Um, so that one is done. That siege is our homie. What other sieges do I want to be friends with? I got a siege in Goji's base, which is hilarious. So I can literally spawn units in Goji's, like, right in the middle of his empire. This path is dry. It's just, like five foot Aiken or something. Lead us to freedom. I think I'm pretty resilient against assassinations now. Belongs to the okay, let's take these bad boys down. Uh, this one is going to give us spice. We will lose some water, but 10% slurry production at this point is going to be very good, so we'll work on that. Alright, so do we take this territory? No. What spec regions are not taken on the map? Listening. So only one player's win con needs to be met, huh? It's interesting. So we're going to do the moves like Jagger here on the Baron. Probably, we could potentially lose this army, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, main base is built out. I need to get a military factory soon too, so we can do that in one of these regions once the the goods call for it. Um, yeah, looking fine. Let's go ahead and get a manpower building. He, he might know where I'm going. We'll see. We'll see what he suspects. Oh, perfect timing, right? When there's a rebellion too, so we're going to get some free damage. So we're going to pop out, go underground. Uh, the Baron does not have an airfield there, so he's going to have to waddle. Does he have an airfield down here? He does not. Okay. That's really good for us. We're probably going to take this region. So let's kill these guys. Oh, Fremen ambushes are the coolest thing ever. Oh, from the sand. I know. The Baron's going to be responding for sure. And let's liberate that to get the free army. Nice. So the, the strategy with that, then, is you, you get your free army, right? And then you just hide behind them. Because uh, they can capture it while you just prepare ambushes and stuff. Okay, Plasteel. The Baron is reacting a little slowly, but that's okay. We can also Worm Call this area if we want to. He could counterattack my base. If he, if he does that, I'm ready with a Worm Call. Are we going to pay our taxes this time around? I think so, we will. Good, Anakin, good. 23k hedge. Knowledge is not Vernius levels, but it's acceptable. We can go get this special region next, too. Okay, here comes the Baron. We're going to have a lot of free units here for this fight. We could even just take the fight, right? So let's just worm call that. So he's going to, if he tries to run to the open, he's definitely going to get munched on by Shai Halud. Like, man, my, I know my army takes a hit <laughs> whenever I... I like fight on top of his base, but man, <laughs> you're tempted to. I am. I got juggernaut of an army. What I gotta say, Pony, sometimes you just have to let the hate flow through you, man. <laughs> Are you telling me to do it? I'm telling you to do it. Okay, so here comes the Baron. I think we're gonna be okay. Oh, you know, <laughs> he's getting eaten a little bit. Sorry about the lag. I don't know who's lagging. Maybe it's me. Okay, so we got the ambushes. We want to let our AI take the aggro, and then we pop out and we get the fat ambush. Scavenger teams! Ambush! We have a lot of AOE damage, too, so our little grenade guys do a shit ton. Oh my god, we're melting his army. Oh my god, that ambush damage! Oh. They had families. They did, well. Not not Robin. He kills his dad in this story, so. He's, he's pretty much... Besides Robin. Dude, it's literally movie Robin all over again. He's just getting hunted and running nonstop. <laughs> Oh my god, we just annihilated that army. We took no losses. We didn't lose a single unit against the full Baron stack. Oh my god. Wow, I love that. The Fidekin, the so much AoE damage in the Fremen army too. 
So Baron's That's good. Get siege incentives. Yeah, you're getting siege incentives. You're going for the base kill on old uh, on old Goji, huh? It, it's about sending a message. It, it really is, dude. Okay, so I think not optimally built out everywhere, but that's fine. And we are going to pay our taxes, which will give us some authority. I mean, you were in first and second for hegemony. Yeah, that's good. I'm about to go up to 25k here. That's going to be pretty savage. Um, special buildings. Yes, we can trade that. A little bit of H2O. And um, water is so low, but I guess we could just do it. It's fine. We can just supply drop if we need to. So we take that spec region. Um, we have our borders set up against assassins. Supply drop. And then we worm call in and attack the Baron's other bases and just keep the uh, the old uh, Jihad, as they call it, in Dune going. Okay. So that's going to be another spec region, brother. We need to keep developing the east, so let's get a military factory. Uh, Shaihulu Temple is pretty good. That gives you more thumpers, which we're going to want. Get a maintenance center here, but for now we can do that because of the Plascrete bonus. And do we have the, the hedge going on the... Yeah, yeah, man. Plus 56 right now. Okay. The Baron, is he still choming? Man, he's up to 26% chome. That's impressive under this kind of pressure. That's very impressive. Still maintaining a lot of land. He is. He's, he's doing it. Do you do you want to... Or is he is he still pushing you back? Oh, uh, no. He's, he's just hiding okay. basically at this do you point. Wanna, do you want to just like double attack? Goji. Yeah, dude, let's do it. <laughs> you just want to like crush him. Just cr crush Goji <laughs> beneath our boots. <laughs> Let me just get in position. My army's like pretty yeah. nimble. I can move around the map, but um, what does this region do? No oh, fuel cell. Okay. My supplies are very dodgy, so I'm having to like just be really haggard about this. Yes. <laughs> I don't have a lot of water right now. Yeah. Being a little greedy with it. I need to find a siege where I can build the water building. Okay, I'm I'm gonna worm call there in a second. Let me see where I can. Um... Okay, just waiting for supplies. We'll pillage this in the meantime to get some supplies. How close are you to Goji's base? You should get in position. Do you I'm have the in, Do you have the I'm, base I'm punishing thing? Not yet. Uh, it's about halfway done. Okay, when that's done, we'll go. Yeah. Otherwise, it's kind of pointless. Um, Baron's on two spice fields. We're probably going to have a hedge victory soon from the passives. We'll avoid the sun. Supply drops. This path is dry. I obviously don't want to attack my own siege. That would be stupid. Another agent. Let's get you on Chome. Okay. You might, ju you might just win on. How far are you in terms of the, uh, the goodies? Which one? Uh, the uh, base damage one. It's like halfway. Okay, still halfway, huh? Okay. Oh, I, I got to keep pillaging so I don't run out of supplies. Oh, we have the worm's nest over here too, wow. Okay, so we can actually rally this and we can make a spice guy and have him come over here and work the worm's nest. The dreaded Fremen tactics. Should we labor rights or no? No, I'm, I'm pretty... Please. Well, I have Decline a, that, please. <laughs> we can actually do it. How rich are you? I'm only at 2,000. And uh, how much are you making in the positive right now? Uh, 85, as I try to pay this enormous... Uh, tax coming up because it would it would be pretty troll for them. Diplomatic Congress is going to be annoying. Goji might get that for himself. You... Wait, I'm going to vote the Harks on Diplo Congress so they can't like attack me. Oh, I missed I misclicked. Yeah, I fine. wasn't. Yep. So oh. are you allied with Goji now? <laughs> yeah. That's so weird how that works in this. So you can still block people in that way. Well, I can end it right. Or no, 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 you can't. Nine days left before you. Okay, the Baron's right. getting ready to counter all, all that means is, in 12 days, my siege incentives is done. <laughs> okay, so in that in that regard, He'll have three days to survive. I gotta keep working on the chunk, then. Uh, we're about to get military propaganda. We're raw-dogging it on supplies out here, dude. It's rough. I'm, like, running out with four water, just, like, playing leapfrog with these territories. I need to get the building that, um... What the hell is that? Which siege is that? Uh, is it this one? Yeah, I don't know. I don't have another eco slot, so it's kind of troll. We'll pillage that down. Get our H2O from the uh, from the raid. 
Harks are thinking about fighting me again, which is a little bit scary. Let's see a thumper here. We trust you, Elliot. Yeah, water being this low is very dodgy. Granted, we do have our territory there. Listening. You know what? He ca he can't break the truce either. He's gonna take this base right in front of his main base. Yeah, are you? <laughs> I'm making a run for it. I might get shy looted here. Uh. Okay, we made it back to our own territory, which is good. Shawnee's gonna use ambush. Everybody's just running in. Let's go. Pull back the range units. Okay, we're in friendly territory though, so we're not out of supplies anymore. Okay, I just steam rolled his army. I think the Baron's running out of steam. All the repeat beatings he's taken. I think you're about to win the game here. Yeah, potentially. He wants to rush me, but he can't. We're forced truce. <laughs> Koji wants to? He wants to come at you? He started like running his troops over here because he saw me taking this base right in front of him. Son of a gun, dude. Uh, rally point, we can do... Yeah, let's just get some more warriors, and we'll get a couple infiltrators. And we can get... Um, Shared Transcendence will give us a little bit. Listening. How, how long so you can break the pact? I think we have some time. Uh... uh. Three days. Three days. That's all he gets to live. Damn siege is just trolling me here. Those are just basic militia. Hopefully they can win. I that. got I got six days six days left on the siege and service. Okay. So in that case, um, let me get a shy halud. Worm call. Goji's getting a base liberated in the south because he's I think a little nervous about you attacking. So he's kind of the smugglers are getting a nuke. <laughs> he's trying to nuke you, dude. Uh, it's so oh, funny, dude. It's the it's the classic on this channel. It's it's a, it's it's tradition. It's legacy, you know. <laughs> it's the only way to stop Pwn. He's too powerful otherwise. Okay, so he's on the border. So you, it seemed from when we were talking earlier, you seem to like the two v two more than FFAs. Do you like like how hyper aggressive it is and like how it's just, I do? Yeah. Uh, uh, I w I still think FFAs the format. I I prefer. The prefer yeah. FFA, but As like I, I do yeah. and I do like the 2v2. Okay, I can break this truce whenever. Okay, I'm heading to the middle. Let me just salvage a village. Um, and then I'm going to worm call in. Got two days left on the siege incentives. Okay. And, I, and I have a defense sabotage ready. His base is going to die. Like, we'll, we'll kill his army and then... Okay. Oh my god, I forgot to build my ship. I was like, I was so hyper-focused on my haggard fighting that... Just having so much fun raiding. Okay, so the Baron's stuck on spice down there. We can go ahead and get a ceremonial cave, which will give us more damage. We trust you, Liet. Uh, I can rally my reinforcements out in Goji's base. <laughs> How cool is that? We will help if we can. And then they can run over here afterwards. Alright, we is it go time? This path is dry. Oh my god, you wanna see something really uh, funny? Or get it's one one day or nope no it says zero days, so it should be done. I'm, I'm breaking the truce right now. I can ambush all of Goji's army. Truce is done. Listening. Begin the assault. Hold on, I gotta. The shy smugglers him. will die in the dark. Give me one second. I'm just shy looting over to the front, because then I get a damage buff. Where can I do it? Okay, I'm I'm coming around. Just wait for me. Oh, I gotta like run up way over here to the side. Okay, I'm just doing this to get my damage buff. Oh, they're running through the desert. Classic. Assassination smuggler attempt has been found. All right, let's kill him. <laughs> I'm coming up behind him. Yep. Oh, I just got like cut off his army in the choke here. Oh. <laughs> oh no! I got his hero. His hero's dead. Oh man. All right, punish that base, bro. Just target the base. And make sure you use the siege siege stuff. Yep. It everything is under effect. My worm called the Baron. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty brutal, dude. Oh man. Okay. Oh my goodness. Baron's worm called and trapped over there, so he's not going to be able to do a whole lot. His base is getting it. How far along is his assassination? Uh, just past like half. A it's yeah, a little bit. There is at 48. That's pretty normal. That's usually when you check it is around 50%, unless you have like a couple of special techs and whatnot. 
All right. So now we just uh, we can go down and, and clobbering time the Baron after this probably. Fortunately, it's going to be a bit of a journey to get back across the map. The Baron comes. He attacks. I don't know if my defenders will hold him for long. Oh my god. An enemy faction has prepared a nuke. Watch out! Nuke! Uh. <laughs> Scorched Earth from Goji. Oh, my Fremen escaped. Okay, I didn't get hit. I'm gonna pillage this to get some uh, get some freaking goodies real quick. Alright. <laughs> Just finish it. I gotta start running back. The Baron's taking yep, my, my territories, yeah. <laughs> no de no assassination on me, Goji. <laughs> Goji. Goji will die in the Must dark. Must have been over there. <laughs> <laughs> Just the evil cackling at Goji's expense is pretty great. Oh, we... Are you well? Alright, let's get you. We trust you, Liet. You ready to to punish the Baron here? Oh my god. <laughs> I, this game censorship sometimes. I know, I know. Assassination, yeah, it's pretty great. Um, Alright, so none of this really matters, honestly, at this point. I put a word that's already in the game! <laughs> yeah. I know, it's pretty absurd. Okay, so where can we rally some dudes? Do we have any sieges nearby? We'll just, like, rally to main base now. Yeah, we need to get the altar coming back. Uh, okay, speed in a sandstorm. Ooh, I kind of like the stealth thing. That's really fun. And, uh, all right. Uh-oh, the Baron's running out of H2O here. All right, you're gonna you're gonna hit his enemy victory here. Yeah, I'm getting 66 a, a day here. I could probably just capture this random territory and win. Yeah, I'll just do that. All right, well, I think that's gonna be it for now. Obviously, mistakes were made um, in regards to not getting the ship, but the Fremen aggression is very fun. And like hedge pushing, I mean, look at, look, he's probably, he's at like 15, yeah. Pretty nuts. Um, and yeah, Fremen can win even FFA games like this too. I've seen them do it quite a bit. Just, if they can really bully like one or two people next to them in the beginning, like cripple them, and then they just do like big pushes on spec regions and uh, early hedge, it's, it's pretty powerful. Uh, I think I'm going to cap before he does. Oh, it's kind of close actually. That will, that will buy him a little bit of time. How many days till that finishes? I can't tell. Occupied, no problem. And I think we beat him to it. All right. GG, Pwn. GG! Unde undefeated in 2v2 in Dune Spice Wars. That's right. <laughs> undefeated. I wish I could have seen more of your action up there, you know? Like, I, I was so hyper-focused on mine. I mean, there were, you had way more action going on than us. Yeah. Go Goji just, after I beat him back the two times, he just... It, he just became the red in his base. <laughs> he was just, he was just sort of like, we'll strike from the shadows and assassinate him. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, then the honorable knights just moved in and slaughtered the thieves guild. Yeah, the thieves guild did get punished. Yeah. The nuke was pretty wild. If we weren't paying attention, if we were just like laughing and shit, <laughs> he gets that nuke off, kills both our armies, and then like, uh, you know, the Harkonnen decaps me. Maybe there's a, a chance for them, but I think the passive hedge would have just overcome them. He also sped up his own demise. <laughs> yeah, the nuke does do. I'm pretty sure it does damage his own base, which is hilarious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good, good it game. It absolutely man. did. It was fun. I think we're ready yeah, for the big geez. duel coming up, huh? Yeah. Have you t have you told people yet? Oh, this will be posted after anyway. So. Oh. I know. I know. GG's man. It was fun. Until next time.